Hello, Bacho. Let's read the given question. The question says a ball is projected from point O as shown in figure. It will strike the ground after uh, time. Basically, we find karna hai. So G given hai 10 meter per second square. Option one four second. Option two three second. Option three two second. Option four five second. So to understand uh, the question given, we need to understand about the concept of projectile motion from a height or from a tower. We can say so. Let's suppose we have a tower. Here, say we are projecting a projectile. And it will take this part and it will certainly fall down. So here we have kuch, let's say angle man let theta. Hai. So we can resolve the component of the velocity along vertical and horizontal. So let's say initial speed was u. So here we have u sin theta vertical component of velocity, and this will be u cos theta horizontal component of velocity. And here projectile girega from the uh, foot of the tower that is known as the range. Hai? And if h is the height of the tower, we can suppose. So here we can see that uh, this is a case of two dimensional motion so we can uh, analyze the motion into two parts along x and along y so along x when we talk about x the speed is uh, we can say u cos theta and along y when we talk about y the speed is u sin theta and velocity we can say it's now here we need to understand that along x there is no acceleration acting on the particle so its uh, speed throughout will remain the same along the horizontal journey right if we talk about vertical, ki baat kare, so vertical mein acceleration is definitely there that, that is minus g which will decelerate this particle is particle ko, uh, decelerate karega basically or retard karega, hai? so uh, along y we can say that the case is of uniform accelerated motion so here we can apply the uniform uh, equations of motion equation of motion which we have three equations of motion hai, v equals to u plus at s equals to ut plus half at square v square equals to u square plus 2as so this is uh, these are all applicable along the vertical direction so agar uh, hame time calculate karna hai ki kitne time baad wo ground pe aayega so we can use the equation that is along uh, first of all along vertical hame lagana hai yani along y lagana hai and secondly we are using second kinematical equation which says sy equals to uyt plus of half ayt ka square theek hai na now just we have to uh, put the values over here so agar hum dekhe to sy uh, will be Displacement is how much particle is 60 and it is in the downward direction so negative and initial velocity along vertical will be 10 sin 30 ho jayega, right? Yeah, upar ki taraf kitna 10 sin 30 sin 30 is half so ho 5 into t minus ho ye bhi half into g ki value uh, ay will be minus of g so we have minus ho gaya ye. 10 into t ka square t we find karna basically so this result will come to us minus 60 is equal to 5t uh, minus of 5t square okay so uh, on further simplification we can write 5t square minus 5t minus 60 will be equals to 0 so if we divide 5 se divide kar the equation ko, so we can have uh, the result as to be t square minus of 5 uh, t minus of 12 will be equals to 0 so root kya mile, uh, equations we will get 4 or 3 right so t square minus of 4t plus of 3t minus of 12 is equals to 0 so here said t t minus of 4 t plus uh, t minus of 4 plus 3 so here t equals to minus 3 second are or t equals to 4 seconds so time cannot be negative so this is the answer that is time will be 4 seconds we are getting so option 1 is the answer to the question i hope you understood the solution all the best